Join me today as I talk you through a little bit about the journey of a naturally dyed Billy New garment. I'm going to be using onion skins for orange from my local farm. Hey, welcome to my channel Billy New. Today I'm going to be taking you on a little journey through the steps I take to make a Billy New naturally dyed garment. The garment that I'm dyeing today is going to be available in a giveaway over on my Instagram. So we'll put the link in the description of this video. You can follow my Instagram that way and you need to comment on the post with these uh, shorts in them. Um, also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe here because it really helps our journey in being able to give you more Billy New videos. So these are the shorts that I'm going to be giving away over on my Instagram. They're a new style that I'm really excited to be launching this spring summer. Um, as usual, I like things comfortable and slightly oversized. So the idea behind these shorts was that they were just really simple elasticated waistband um, and I wanted them to kind of look a bit like a mini skirt which I think they do. Um, if you've been following me for a while you'll know that each Billy New garment that I make is unique because um, I use vintage French textiles. Um, so in France there was a big like um, era of bed sheets like linen and cotton bed sheets when people would get married they'd have their initials engraved on them um, and there's still a lot of those left over today so those are the kind of sheets that I like to source um, it's quite a well a fun process I love doing it but it's quite long and intense and you have to go around finding finding fabrics that are that haven't been used or that are not damaged in any way um, a lot of the time I'll find them in kind of car boot sales or antique stores or um, I'll make a relationship with someone local and they'll have a big stash from their family, family which is really nice because you'll get the history um, of their family with all their um, personal initials on them. So that's the story of how I source my fabric for making my Billy New garments but yeah. So I sew all these myself in my um, workshop. I have a small vintage Singer sewing machine um, and a small overlocker and that's how I create all of my garments as well. So part of the process of naturally dyeing um, fabric is that you need to mordant the tissues before, um, before you dye them to give them the best chance of um, the colours sticking to the fabric. So I'm using alum acetate today and this is a powder that you can buy online and I'm going to just fill up this pot with hot water and then I'm going to put my alum acetate in and then I'm going to add my shorts and they will be mordanting for an hour or so. Y you can leave them overnight as well for extra, extra mordantage but these will just be in there for a I don't know, a couple of hours or until I'm ready to dye them. So first of all, I'm going to fill up my pot with hot water. Hot tap water is enough. So I'm going to put a couple of Six teaspoons of mordant into my water. Um, it's important to wear a mask when you're working with fine powders like this. So I'm just going to pop mine on before I start spooning it. So now I've mixed in my mordant. I'm just going to pop the shorts in and keep mixing them. It's quite nice working with such a small garment because normally I'm working with big overalls or really wide leg trousers and there's not a huge amount of room to move in, um, in these pots. They're the biggest I can get at the moment. Um, so it's, yeah, it's quite relaxing to have shorts that can move very freely in the liquid. So I'm going to just, oh, I've given them a good stir but I'm just going to leave them now for a couple of hours um, before I'm ready to dye them. It's a beautiful view though. And there's a 
doggy. Hello, doggy. <laughs> so we took a trip, um, a family trip to our local farm. Um, this is where I get my vegetables, mostly on market days, but sometimes we go to the farm and it's really great there because the kids get to see the animals, they get to see where the vegetables come from, do their own shopping. <laughs> Um, they had a goose egg today which was going to be hatched actually but the farmer let the kids hold it and yeah this is me getting my onion skins they think I'm mad <laughs> but they they humor me and that's me leaving with my bag of treasures just really want to say thank you to my farmer Christian because he's the best and he's always saving me little bags of treasure so here are my onion skins from the farm that I collected um, they are one of my favourite natural dyes because they are so easy to obtain. Most of us have them in our kitchen. Also, they are really potent, so they release a lot of colour. Um, and the colour that you get is just a really lovely bright orange. Um, I'm going to just scoop a couple of handfuls into my pot. Um, by now, I have a pretty good idea of um, how many I kind of need to... to get the kind of saturation of colour that I like. I'm not really one for measuring, so I'm just going to go ahead and put something here. So I would say that's enough to get a lovely orange colour on my short. So my onion skins are heating up. Um, the colour comes out quickly, quite quickly with onion skins, so I'll probably, I'll probably be ready to use in maybe half an hour. Um, but yeah, I'll come back to it and check. I've got my shorts here. They've been mordanted now, and my onion skins have been extracting for about an hour. There's some really nice strong colour going on there. So I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna strain my dye bath. Um, if I've got big bits like this I quite often like to leave them in. If you're going for a really 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 super 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 even colour then you'd probably want to take them out but I think we're gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna pop them in. You can see how orange that is already. Look at that! So I'm hoping that these will go a nice bright orange. <clears throat> There's still more colour to come out of these skins, you can kind of tell. They're still quite stiff. That's also why I want to leave them in there. Going nice and orange already. And then I'm going to leave them, I don't know, I'm going to see how, how the colour takes, but maybe even until tomorrow I might leave them overnight. We'll see. It's been a bit more than 24 hours now since I last looked at the pot um, with my shorts in and the colour is looking pretty nice and orange. I also, <coughs> last night I added a piece of silk to the pot because I wanted to make some scrunchies in a nice orange colour. You can see the orange of the shorts against the orange of the silk. It's quite a big difference. That's because they're different fabrics. Um, the shorts are a cellulose fibre cotton and the, I think they're cotton. They might have some linen in there as well. And this is a silk, which is a protein fibre. Anyway, both beautiful colours. <clears throat> I'm going to take these out now and give them a rinse, let them dry, and then I'm going to show you the final results. It's 
another reason people like to strain their dye baths is because you don't get loads of bits stuck when you're taking them out. But I'm just going to take them off when I rinse the fabric. So I've just got these out of the washing machine and I've got some beautiful orange, just what I wanted. And this is a bit lighter on the cotton. So you can see here that some of the colours kind of dyed quite unevenly, which is actually what I've been trying to go for recently because I'm really liking the unevenness. I don't really like perfection. You may have noticed from some of my other products, but this is an effect that I've really been trying to hone in on recently and it's come out really nicely on these shorts. So remember, you can win these by heading over <laughs> to my Instagram, which is Billy New as well. Um, find the posts with these shorts on and make a comment. If you've made it to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about my process. Please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah.